Good morning everybody! It's me again, Crazy Bag Lady! And little Ruby! Very tired little Ruby. Ruby doesn't go to bed at night at it's all. It's because you're watching something. So she's always late to bed and then can't get up in the morning. A bit like me. <laughs> anyway, so it's Monday morning. We don't like Mondays. Mondays are... But never mind, we're up, we're ready. Are you ready for school again? Second week in your new school? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Alright, let's go. Hi! Week two, first drop off done. Woo. Right, so we're home, let's go get the breakfast. Oh, we're in home just before nine. Washing machine's on already, so we just need to rustle some breakfast up. Nice cup of tea, and then we'll see what we're doing today. Good morning. There's my breakfast. So I've got blueberry squares and some banana, which I'm just about to chop up. So off to enjoy my breakfast. Breakfast was nice. Don't ask. Don't ask why I've got a Christmas mug. I have no idea. My husband made me a drink um, the first thing this morning, and I just made myself another one. And he made me it in the mug of the day, which was a Christmas mug. My husband's got no idea about things like this. So I normally put this away for the rest of the year after Christmas, but we'll use it again for today. So happy on Christmas. <laughs> oh, and by the way, nobody's learnt to open the blinds yet. <laughs> So let's get the blinds open and then let's see what we're going to do today. Right, I'm upstairs in my little sewing room. So this is the little prize that Roseanne won yesterday. Now Ruby really, 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 really wants one of these. So <clears throat> I said to her, because obviously they're quite expensive and Ruby only wants it to put a little earrings in. So I said, what I'll do, I'm going to try and make one. So I've cut out some felt. Mine won't be anywhere near as good as this one. This sits so perfectly and it's absolutely lovely. And that's why it is expensive because it's made from good quality felt. Whereas my felt's only like thin and floppy. But I'm just going to try and make Ruby a little one for her earring. So we're on a quick mission. Right, that's me. I've put three pieces of felt together to try and make it a bit thicker. So I'm not sure what I need to do now. Somehow I need to like bend my corners. <laughs> Right, I've done something you shouldn't really do. Um, I've took the safety foot off my sewing machine. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to try and do some freehand stitching on this. So I'm going to try and write Ruby on the bottom of the little tray. So fingers crossed it goes all right. Right, are you ready? I've done it. Dun, 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 dun. I've done it. Mine's nowhere near as good as the Handbag Angels. So if you do want one, um, I'll put the Handbag Angels website down below because theirs are absolutely beautiful. But obviously I've just done mine for a bit of fun for Ruby. So I've uh, stitched her name in the bottom and then I've stuck or well, sewed her a little diamond in the corner. So this is Ruby's little trinket tray. It's very cute. Um, I'm sure she's going to absolutely love it because she really, really, really wanted one. Um, and I thought it'd be nice to make one. So there's the little diamond in the corner. But it's so cute so i'm gonna put it away and give her it when she comes home from school so i hope she'll like it right i can't actually believe it but we've got to 11 o'clock already Woohoo! so i've just packed up little roseanne's prize so it's coming all the way over to the other side of the world yay but i've got to get to the post office so but i'm also waiting for a parcel the one i missed on friday I thought it was my hoover, but it wasn't my hoover because my hoover came on Saturday. So I think it's something to do with my husband, but he said could I wait for this parcel to come in and it hasn't come yet and I really want to start hoovering, but then I thought if I hoover, I won't hear the doorbell. So I thought we'll make a coffee and then we'll just carry on sort of tidying up a bit, but I really want to hoover. Right, I've made my coffee and as I said, I really want to hoover. So I thought what I'll do, if I hoover in the hall, then obviously I'll hear the door or I'll see him at the door. So I thought we can just do this little bit of hoovering. So I'm very excited. So I've got Mr. Shark ready. Are you ready, Mr. Shark? Yes, I am. <laughs> Are you hungry? Yes, definitely. Okay, Mr. Shark, well, your little pouch thing's empty. So I'm going to be quite amazed, I think, how much fur and stuff is going to come up out of this carpet. So are we ready? Let's hoover! I forgot to say yesterday as well, I also noticed there was another button underneath the handle, which I didn't see till last night. But it asks, asks, oh, I can't speak today. It actually says carpet or hard floor. So you flick 
that little switch across and then obviously so we want to be on carpet and then when i do my kitchen i need to be on hard floor but i didn't realize that yesterday so i did miss that off my review so anyway are we ready very excited let's begin I love its little headlights, they're so cute. Look, they're little LED lights. Oh. So excited to see how much dirt goes in the little um, suction bit. I bet there's loads. Oh, it goes right against the edge of my skirting board as well. I don't know if you heard all that sucking up, but it goes right against the edge. That's really good. Oh, are you ready? I feel disgusted. I've literally done my haul, but I've not done this like hard bit yet. So I've done just that bit of my hallway. I've done a bit of Ruby's bedroom, my bedroom and the bathroom. So as you can see, it's pretty full. I can't believe it. I cannot believe. Look at this. Look how much muck is in there. That's horrible. I mean, it's brilliant, but it's also very horrible. So I'm just going to empty it out and then we'll look how much there is. That is a fair old chunk of muck. Obviously, there's a lot of dog hair and fibres and dust, but that is a big chunk of muck that's come out my floor. Um, the next room I want to do is my sitting room, which I've never... Obviously, I've done it with my like hand hoover thing, but it really does need a good vacuum. So I'm just interested to see how much dog hair it's going to pull out of the carpet because that's the main room that my little dogs sit with me and my hubby and my children. So in a minute, we're going to run over that carpet with it and see how much comes out of there. Right, quarter to 12, parcel man still hasn't been. So I'm still listening out for the door. So anyway, so my shark is now empty. So I'm now going to do the sitting room because I just want to see just what comes out of the sitting room carpet. So without further ado, let's go. Well, Winnie seems to like it. <laughs> is it good, Winnie? I like it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> It's still a bit of a push um because obviously this carpet is so thick but it's not too bad and at least it's not chewing up my carpet which my dyson always did oh halfway round and as you can see it's pretty grim <laughs> oh my goodness so there's like lots of dog hair and like well i suppose just muck for, that's been ground into the carpet that i couldn't get out before so this is amazing Winnie seems absolutely fascinated by it. I don't know why. She just keeps coming and looking at it. Do you like the hoover? The vacuum, should I say? <laughs> it's a good workout, this is, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely. Oh, Florence is not quite so sure. What do you think to the hoover, Florence? Are you coming out to look? <laughs> she says, no, I'm not playing. But you are, aren't you? You like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, we've got the type off. So I'm using it like this so it's still attached to the base. And then I'm just using the little nozzle. Just doing the like little nooks and crannies of my sofa. Right, sitting room muck. This is just the muck from my sitting room. And as you can see, it's pulled an awful lot out of my sitting room carpet. There's an awful lot of dog hair and fluff and stuff. So it's even gone into that compartment as well. We've had so much. So anyway, so that was my sitting room. I think it looks an awful lot better. Right. I don't want to bore you anymore, but that's the muck that came off my stairs, which I think it's not loads, but it's still quite a lot. So oh, I can't believe it. Yeah, can you? <laughs> Oh, just let my little Florence out for a wee. So we're just doing weather check and it's not very nice out there. It's been spitting with rain and it's windy and it's really cold. So I'm not looking forward to scoring later. <laughs> my parcel man's here. Any minute now he's going to knock on the door. So at least um, I don't have to listen out for the parcel man coming because he's here. Thank goodness. Oh, just a boring thing for me, hubby. It's like a boot liner thing. So nothing exciting. Oh, right, we've got to dinner time. So there's my little dinner. I've got seafood sticks, little tomatoes, and mackerel in olive oil. So off to enjoy my dinner. And the lipstick tasting, lipstick testing continues. So I've just tested this one. So this is um, 
a sleek one that I got in my advent calendar um, and it's matte and me and it's colour that's so fetch mm, that sounds a bit fancy doesn't it so it's a matte one so it's literally I've only just put it on back and feel it's starting to dry now so yeah so that's my little lipstick of the day it's a bit bright but why not on a dreary Monday maybe we need a bit of pink lipstick right as you know I'm looking for a new foundation um, my little Avon lady said you can get samples from the Avon box. So this is my foundation, what I've tested on a bit of paper. And I was just testing it near some of the ones in the book. Mine looks really dark on the paper, but it's not dark in real life. Um, so I think I'm going to order a couple of samples because I'd like to try some of the Avon foundation. I bet it's really nice. But I've also heard that the Revolution foundations are really good. So I want to knit one day this week and try some of their foundations. But I thought I could order a couple of samples. So just have a look in the Avon book. Well, I've been sat in my chair for half an hour and start looking at... Avon reviews and I was supposed to just be looking at foundations but then I got tempted by lipsticks and I'm sat in there thinking I don't know what to order <laughs> so I've picked my um foundation samples and then I'm just debating do I need another lipstick I probably don't need another lipstick do I, I think I've got enough lipsticks so um I think we need to just fill the sample bit out and shut the book <laughs> I've ordered the lipstick I shouldn't have done um but some of the reviews made it look so amazing so bright bright red and I thought I really need that <laughs> so many years we've got about an hour till we've got to go and fetch Ruby I was going to go out this afternoon but I've restrained myself because you just end up buying something you don't really need like a lipstick <laughs> um so I thought right finish your hoovering and that's your job done for the day so I've got to finish my hoovering and then make Ruby's bed, but we'll make Ruby's bed later. So let's just finish hoovering my kitchen. So I spent the whole day hoovering, but it's my new hoover and I love it. I would imagine you're probably really bored of looking at my fluff bits by now. But I just want to show you that's what's come off my kitchen floor. So obviously it's a hard floor, so it's not carpet. So you wouldn't expect quite so much to come off it. But yeah, we've uh, we've certainly got some dog fur. Wow. <laughs> Oh, right, this is my last long pile carpet. It's not as thick as the one in my bedroom and sitting room, but it's still quite thick. Um, and I would imagine a lot of dog hair will come out of here because obviously this is where my dogs run through to go outside. So, oh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what it brings up. And I'm so sorry if this video is so boring just talking about hoovering. <laughs> Definitely the right mug of the day. That's me with my little hoover again. Right, so I've made myself a nice cup of coffee and we've got about 40 minutes till we've got to fetch Ruby, so not too long. So I'm going to empty my hoover and put it away. Ah, oh, thank you for your company today, Mr Shark. The pleasure's been all mine. <laughs> it's been brilliant. So here's my bag of rubbish. So as you can see, we've, we've done a really good job of hoovering today. That is all full of like fluff and everything. So I'm really pleased. Oh, I've just been outside to take the rubbish away. It is freezing. I cannot believe how cold it is out there. I've put a thick coat on when we go on school run. Oh, 10 minutes till we've got to leave and guess what? It's raining. <laughs> you couldn't write this, could you? It's like every time the world knows it's school run time, it rains. <laughs> I've made it into the car. So I've got my warmest coat on, uh, which is like a feathery one it's got feathers and stuff inside it and it's really long it's like literally wearing a duvet so i've got that and then i've had to bring my purse because i need to go to post office after to post my parcel so i've just chucked my purse in my little gucci bag because obviously it's raining so i don't want it to ruin like one of my other bags so right let's go and get ruby First day after the weekend. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and isn't it cold? Yes, yeah, And the wind. Oh, the wind's awful. Uh, can it go second class sign for? Oh, right, we've made it back to the car. Parcels all sent. So, Roseanne, your little prize on the way to you. I've got this annoying piece of hair that just keeps sticking up. <laughs> um, and then I've sent a couple of the little parcels as well. So, oh, I need to go home. I can't tell you how cold it is.
we've made it home. I just sat to film this because it's so funny. We have got other beds in the house. There's loads of beds. There's even a little bed over there near the heater. But no, they have to squeeze into a bed together. It's so funny. Oh, you're getting in as well. <laughs> now that would be funny. Neither of them all move a lot. The cat's determined that the pug's got to get out. <laughs> the pug's not going to get out. <laughs> Ooh, you are so funny. <laughs> the cat normally wins. We have got more than one bed, you know. <laughs> Who said that cats and dogs don't get on? It's so cute. <laughs> My camera looks a bit dirty, let me just wipe it on. Oh, that's very cute. All three of you. <laughs> oh, are you feeling the furry love? <laughs> it just makes me laugh, it's so cute. <laughs> the cat won. <laughs> right, I'm very busy trying to brush some of tea up. So tonight I'm making, I think it's called sweet and sour, uh, salt and pepper chicken. Um, it's like a slim and well recipe. I have filmed it before. It's really, really nice. So very busy doing that. So I'm mixing my chicken up and my little breadcrumbs. I just think that's so funny. They are both asleep. <laughs> and they're both squashed in the smallest bed ever. <laughs> And we have put beds together, but they still don't get in it. They still go in the same bed. Mm, what do you think to it, Ruby? So good. Do you like it? It looks exactly like the other one. Mm, it's not quite as good, but it is. Um, and it's personalised. It is personalised, and you've got a diamond on. I know, the diamond's awesome. <laughs> cool. cool for your earrings, isn't it? I know. Right, I've got my little outfit on again. <laughs> my leggings. Cannot tell you how cold it is in my conservatory. It is absolutely freezing and I'm going to across right now so I've got my iPad ready to get my music on. I really can't be bothered but as I said before it does help with mental health as well as keep fit so I thought it does make you feel better when you've done a bit of exercise. So and I'm back on my healthy eating again today after a naughty week of eating rubbish. So it is, let's begin! <laughs> for it as 21 minutes 47 seconds and 200 calories which is probably the equivalent of about one chocolate like i said the other day i love this abba remix it's so good it has so many good songs on it and they're all like jazzed up it's so good for exercising so anyway right now i need to go and have a wash it's so hot look at me i'm not beating sweat <laughs> but my lipstick survived Anyway, so we're back and then I'll let you know which bath bomb I've chosen today. I've got this bath bomb. Bosh, bosh bomb. So today's bath bomb. Ta-da! It's very twinkly. Let's drop it in. Oh, look at that. And it smells amazing, as they always do. Look at it. It's beautiful. I'm going in. Check out the orange water. Woohoo! And it smells so lovely. Right, I'm going in. Oh, I'm out of the bath. And now I'm going to put my tea in the oven. So there's my little salt and pepper chicken thing that I've made. So I just need to cook it for about 20 minutes and do my stir fry. So let's get it in the oven. Right, there's my little stir fry. So I'm just putting my bits of chicken into my stir fry. 
And then I'm not going to have all this chicken because it's quite a lot. So I'll perhaps save some for tomorrow. But making my mouth water. It's so nice. Yeah, it does. Oh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is my tea. It looks absolutely delicious. Um, I've put a tiny, tiny bit of very low fat cheese over the top to melt on it and I'm going to enjoy it. It looks lovely. Finally getting my pudding. So I've had to make Ruby's bed, wash up, tidy up, feed the dogs. And now I've finally got down to a bit of fruit and yogurt. Oh, I'm just watching makeup tutorials and foundation guides and it's totally confusing. <laughs> they all look so pretty. So the oily one is 12 and this one's 12 as well, so not just 12 between. Right, let's try the oily one. Hi, midis. Final vlog of the day. I made myself very tired watching all them light reviews. It just, it's head frying. There's too much choice. We should just have one foundation that suits everybody. That would be so much easier. <laughs> anyway, midis, so thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed my little shark hoovering and all the fluff that we pulled up. So if you're still here, thanks for staying with me. If you do enjoy Life in England, daily vlogs, handbags, hoovering, and anything else we get up to, then please subscribe to my channel and come and find me on Instagram as Mrs Crazy Bag Lady. So we'll love you and leave you and we'll speak to you tomorrow.